What is up YouTube? My name is Adam and this is Broke Man Finance. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas this past year, but I am ready to end 2020 as we prepare for 2021. If you have held strong this year with your investments and you're still sitting there in the green, <sighs> cheers to you, my friends. As we head into 2021, we will have some winners and we will have some not so winners. One company that is c -c -c crushing it right now as a winner is QuantumScape, ticker symbol QS. Quantum just went public November 25th of this year after merging with Special Purpose Acquisition Company or SPAC, Kensington Capital Acquisition Company, and has since been pushing straight up. When a company goes this vertical, this fast, at this rate, with as far as its share price, it starts to throw up some red flags to me and begins to make me suspicious, as it should make you suspicious a little bit as well. And instead of blindly investing your money, begin to do some digging. In this video, we are going to discuss exactly who QuantumScape is, do I think their share price is legit? Is, is there validity to it? Do I think these prices are gonna keep surging? Would I buy at these prices? So stick around to the very end to find out exactly what I would do, but again, I'm no financial advisor. I'm just a guy on YouTube. But let's just start at who the hell is QuantumScape? QuantumScape was essentially on no one's radar a few months ago, unless you were Bill Gates, who is a pretty big financial backer of the company. But if it was on your radar, then great job, you got in at a great price. Shares of the electric vehicle battery maker closed at $131.67 earlier this past week. That's up 39% after rallying 29% on Monday, but since then they have had a little drop off. That makes QuantumScape up almost 70% in one week and 390% since going public. In just late November, to put this into context, four weeks ago, four weeks ago, they were trading for around $32 per share, okay? Then they shot up to $100 and almost $32 per share, only to have fallen now to around $114. Bucks. QuantumScape right now is considered more valuable of a company in terms of market value than LG Chem. Samsung SDI, and Panasonic. Let those names sink in for just a minute. Samsung, Panasonic, LG. QuantumScape is a leader in the development of next generation solid state lithium metal batteries for use in electric vehicles. The company's mission is to revolutionize energy storage to enable a sustainable future. QuantumScape has the only lithium metal solid state battery with automotive OEM validation. This concept is different than current lithium ion batteries that you may have heard of. Right now, Quantum claims to be the only real player in lithium metal batteries. For comparison's sake, I don't want to get into the weeds on the comparison of the batteries because to be honest, you probably don't care. What you do care about is how this product is going to change people's lives, including your own, that's going to make it profitable and hopefully in terms make money for you, the investor. So here are the relevant stats on how it will affect you. It charges to 80% capacity in 15 minutes, up to 80% longer range, meaning more miles compared to today's lithium ion batteries. It's got longer life cycles, zero excess lithium, which I can only assume is good for the environment. It's been tested to negative 30 degrees Celsius and has worked. QuantumScape's solid state separator is non-combustible, an important safety feature, meaning it can't blow you the hell up. That's got to be a plus. It always helps if your product doesn't blow up people. You can see here the untapped market that QuantumScape presents. Its technology is proposing something everyone would want and that's convenient. Short charge times. Being able to drive a long way on those charges. 
The technology is cheaper, so it's making EVs even cheaper. And to top it off, it's not blowing you up. What's well, not to like? Volkswagen certainly liked it, and right now is their biggest supporter because they are also their biggest investor. Having such a solidified partner in this is great just in terms of credibility and a consistent revenue stream. You can see here they had 11 million vehicles produced in FY 2019. And they plan to launch 70 electric vehicle models and produce 22 million EVs by 2029. They've committed corporate funding of excess of 300 million and has had a strong relationship with QuantumScape since 2012, including development collaboration, testing of prototype sales, and representation on the QS Board of Directors. Here's what the Volkswagen Group half-yearly finance report had to say. In the future, solid-state batteries should result in a significantly increased range and faster charge times. They are regarded as the most promising approach to electric mobility for generations to come. Volkswagen has already been collaborating with QuantumScape since 2012 and is the largest automotive shareholder thus far. Both founded a joint venture in 2018, the aim of which is to prepare the mass production of solid state batteries for Volkswagen. When it comes to their finances, you can see here that they're not going to be profitable for a little while. Now, granted, they have a lot of upside. They got a lot of potential. But I could see investors, especially young investors, getting impatient and moving their money around before production really commences. Especially when this thing dips, which it will. But that's just my opinion. I am no financial advisor. However, with the recent injections of cash that it's gotten from VW, Kensington, and Bill Big Pockets Gates, the company should be able to sustain itself just fine. Look at these investors. You have all these companies and then you have Bill Gates right here. That's when you know you are hashtag rich AF. But the bottom line for me is this. EV investors tend to get impatient and will move their money to the newest thing out there. If you don't believe me, feel free to go look. There are a number of EV companies that's dropped a little bit and people have bailed. One small bump in the road and a panic sale ensues. I see an eventual drop for Quantum. I do. The company, I think, is solid. The technology, solid. But we can get in for cheaper. There's no way they can sustain this rate of growth in its share price and market valuation for years to come based on the speculation of profits in four, five, six years from now. So I may dip my toes into this when this thing has cooled off some and that share price has come back to reality, but I'm not gonna dip my toes in there quite yet. You gotta remember, four weeks ago, four weeks, it was sitting at $32. It jumped up a hundred bucks in four weeks. That's, that's way too fast. There's nothing that validates that number being that high right now. There's nothing that can justify it, in my opinion. That's a big red flag. It's gonna come tumbling down eventually, and that's when I will consider getting in. Right now, that share price is way too hot. And if you decide to touch it, and by all means go nuts, then you may end up getting burned. But then again, it could go up to $500 next week and I look like a raging a-hole. But until then, we will see. I hope your stocks stay green. I hope you stay safe and I hope everyone takes care.